Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am back with part number 20 of my bookshelf tour. We are into M by author surname, and so without further ado, let's just get started. So, we'll kick things off with Marnie Mann, Memoirs Aren't Fairy Tales, A Story of Addiction. This is like um, a sort of a YA novel, I suppose. I'm assuming it's not semi-autobiographical, but I may be wrong. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not too sure, like, what Mann's experience with things like drug addiction is um, but basically yeah it's um, a pretty decently written uh, drug memoir uh, drug novel published by book troop who published my first novel uh, no rest for the wicked uh, they're sadly no longer around but it was cool to kind of come across Marnie as one of the authors there I actually this is one of the book trope books that I read before I ended up joining up to be published by them you know okay next up we have the grown-up business by Shirley Mansfield and this is a uh, non-fiction uh, it's basically for if you are a small business owner and you want to get better at, at what you're doing I guess um, not particularly memorable boy races outside not particularly memorable I'm afraid but it's an okay business book I just I read so many of them that um, it's hard to recommend any one over another you know okay next up we have the bumper beta book of sick jokes compiled by Rob Manuel and Rob Manuel is the guy who developed sickopedia.com he's also the creator of beta which I used to use back in the day um, which is a, a bit like 4chan uh, a messaging board and they used to have like Photoshop competitions and that kind of stuff let's read you a joke at random um, you're in your car and you see a chav on a bike. Why should you try not to hit him? It might be your bike. <laughs> That's harsh. What's the opposite of Christopher Reeve? Christopher Walken. Okay, that's about the most politically correct joke I can find in this, I think. There were lots of jokes about Hitler there. Okay, then we have A Cold Death, a Rocco Schiavone mystery by Antonio Manzini. This is generic thriller R Us, really. I don't really remember it too much, I'm afraid. One of many that I've been sent for review. Published by HarperCollins. I mean, if you like thrillers, why not? Okay, then we have Mr. Nice by Howard Marks. And basically, Howard Marks was a Welsh drug runner, basically. He smuggled loads of cannabis around the world. Uh, he eventually got caught, spent seven years in prison. So it says here, uh, he was Britain's most wanted man. He has just spent seven years in America's toughest penitentiary. You'll like him. And you probably will like him. He was quite a likeable guy. And these are basically his memoirs. He has sadly passed away since um, since this was published. But um, all around very interesting guy and definitely recommend checking this out if you get a chance. Okay, then we have I Need My Mummy and Other Poems by Kittens by Francesco Marchioliano. I will read you a poem by a kitten here. Luxury. These, these. These right here are the softest, are the comfiest, are the most luxurious bed sheets I've ever hacked up on. Thank you again for inviting me into your home. Let's do one more. This is called Shy Kitten. And then another friend shows up and kisses me as I fidget. And then another friend shows up and pets me in the wrong direction. And then still another friend shows up and chases me around the house. And then all your friends ask to see your new kitty. And then I wish you were a hoarder because I'd like to hide behind 137 toasters right now. It's about right. So yeah. Let me have uh, Life of Pi by Jan Martel. I didn't enjoy this book at all, I'm afraid. It was very sort of well written, but nothing happened. And I wasn't really into the whole sort of more philosophical aspects of it, I suppose. So, um, but yeah, I appreciate it. a lot of people really love this book. It just wasn't for me. Okay, now we're getting on to George R.R. R. Martin. So I'm going to present these out of order. Uh, we have, uh, this is, well, they're alphabetical order, but not series order. So we have A Clash of Kings. Uh, we have, they're all different formats as well. A Dance with Dragons. We have... A Feast for Crows, A Game of Thrones, A Storm of Swords, Blood and Cold, Oops. A Storm of Swords, Steel and Snow. So I don't know how that's done in America, I'm not sure whether, um, I'm not sure whether in America those might just be one book or something, I know in, you can get them as just one book as well. So I, uh, I read the Game of Thrones series a couple of summers ago and I actually did it reading a book, uh, reading one book, watching one series, etc, 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 until eventually I got to the point where the two diverged anyway and it didn't really matter. Yeah, I, I mean I'm a fan, a fan as much as the next man I suppose. Here we have uh, George R.R. R. Martin, Dying of the Light. Now, I read this as a buddy read with uh, Todd, Todd the Librarian here on Booktube. What I didn't realise, because I ordered this online, is that it's signed and inscribed on the inside. 
So it says, To Megan, who is finally old enough to read my stuff, George R.R. R. Martin. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Didn't pay extra for that or anything. Then we have Fever Dream, which is basically a vampire novel sort of set in the American South on a steamboat. It's really good, actually. Would definitely recommend. And uh, then we also have George R.R. R. Martin and Lisa Tuttle, Windhaven, which I also really liked. Uh, there's a quote here on the back from A. E. Van Vogt saying, It's romance. It's science fiction. It's beautiful. And that's pretty a accurate. It's um, it's just very interesting. I haven't read many books like it, so would would recommend. And also it follows like, the characters throughout the period of a lifetime as well, which I think is quite cool. Okay, then we have Agatha, The Real Life of Agatha Christie by Anne Martinetti, Guillaume Lebeau, and Alexandra Frank. Uh, this is one that I was sent, and basically it's just a graphic novel about Agatha Christie. Uh, and yeah, it's really cool. If you're an Agatha Christie fan, I would definitely recommend it. Then we have Alexander Masters, A Life Discarded. I actually went to the launch event for this, which was super cool. And basically what this is, it's a non-fiction. It also has some illustrations that the author himself provides as well. Um, so, for example, like this one. Well, basically, one of his friends found a bunch of these old diaries, and they ended up giving them to Masters. Um, this book is kind of Masters investigating who wrote these diaries, what the story is, etc., etc. And so it's kind of like investig investigative non, uh, non-fiction, I guess. And it's just, it says here, a detective story with traces of Alan Bennett. Just, just really do recommend that one. Then we have Richard Matheson, I Am Legend, cracking horror novel. Unfortunately, this is the movie tie-in cover, which is a shame because the two have nothing in common with each, each other, really. The book is so much better, and if you're into classic horror or science fiction, anything like that, definitely read I Am Legend. And I hear the audiobook's pretty good as well. We have Matt and Enzo, How to Poo at Work, The Golden Rules of Relieving Yourself in the Workplace. Don't get caught out. So this is a bit of a joke novel, really. Uh, I think I was offered this for free for review, and I accepted the copy, because why not? And yeah, it's just all right. It's a gimmick, you know? Then we have The Employee Experience, How to Attract Talent, Retain Top Performers, and Drive Results by Tracy Mailer and Matthew Ride. This is another one of the ones that I read. Uh, it's a business book that I read to create like a Sparknote-style summary for a client. It was okay. It's really about how to make your workplace feel more like an experience you know and so that people feel as though then th that it's more than just a job okay then we have peter may cast iron this is another pretty much um generic thriller slash crime novel i guess i know peter may is super popular and uh, i was sent this copy for review and so i was quite excited because i knew peter may was popular and i thought he might even become a new favorite author but eh, it was just okay um yeah Okay, then we have Shouty Kid, how Harry Riddles made a mega amazing zombie movie, and Shouty Kid, how Harry Riddles mega massively broke the school by Simon Mayle. And these are two just sort of kids' books, really, uh, middle grade, I would say, I guess. And um, they were a lot of fun. I still remember them fondly. I don't know why. I probably wouldn't accept these if um, for my for my blog now because. I guess I'm being more selective about what I take, but they were really quite refreshing. And if you've got kids, I definitely recommend checking them out. Okay, then we have Sun Prince by Linda McCartney with a preface by Paul McCartney. And this is basically a collection of Linda McCartney's photography. I saw it and just knew I had to have it, especially because you know she was a, an avid vegetarian. And even now as a vegan, I eat a lot of uh, Linda McCartney uh, products. So I thought I'd try, try and wrap my head around some of her photography. And yes, yeah, she's really good. Just cool if you're a fan of hers or of the Beatles or of Paul's or whatever. Then we have We Are Lucifer by Amy McLean. So I thought this was going to be more of a sort of demonic horror novel, but it turned out to be more of a sort of a, psychic, a psychological thriller. But it was one of the more memorable ones I've read, actually, despite the fact being more of an indie release, I guess. I mean, it's published by GJB Publishing, so it's not self-published. But... Um, yeah, Amy is also here on Booktube and she has a YouTube channel where she does quizzes and talks about books and movies and stuff. And I actually really enjoyed this. Uh, I did a full video of it, of it for Tard and Dane's Indie Read Along, which I'll link to below. Then we have Intrusion by Mary McCluskey. This was an advanced reader's copy I was sent. Not going to lie, I don't remember this at all, so I'm not even going to try and talk about it. Yeah, I did read it though. Okay, and then we have uh, some Steve McKevitt. So we have City Slackers, 
and Everything Now by Steve McKevitt. I believe I was sent one of these for a review and then bought the other one. They're kind of like um, modern day business books but with a bit of humour to them and a bit of bite and sarcasm. So for example, the blurb for Everything Now. We are healthier, longer lived, better fed, watered, educated and entertained than any generation in history. But we are not happier. We enjoy access to a virtual world of information at our fingertips. Yet we are increasingly ignorant of the real world we live in. Given the countless products and lifestyles we have to choose from, why do most of us live out virtually identical lives? So yeah, quite interesting. And finally, the last book of this video is The Commando Entrepreneur by Damien McKinney, Risk, Innovation and Creating Success. This is another business book that I was sent for, uh, for review purposes. And I mean, this was actually written by someone who used to be a Royal Marine. So there are some interesting sort of parallels he picks up between the business world and the commandos. So I guess if you're into the military and that kind of stuff and you're also into entrepreneurship, this might be a, a good one for you to check out. Otherwise, uh, there are so many other great ones that you could uh, take a look at. So there we have it. That's all I have for this edition of the Bookshelf Tour. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.